In this month of June, I wanted the theme to kind of be shout outs, letting you guys know about other people on YouTube who I really admire and would like you guys to check out and maybe get to know a bit more. And today I want to tell you guys about Uni. Hello, I'm Uni. Uni is a Tinkercad master out of South Korea. Her videos have amazed me and taught me things about Tinkercad. And to be fair, I'm no slouch with Tinkercad, okay? I made a chess set that Voltrons together into a robot. I know what I'm doing with Tinkercad, and yet when I watch her videos, I feel like I learn something every single time. It, it's constantly blowing me away. She recently did a series of Star Wars themed Tinkercad modeling projects and because Tinkercad is so easy to model in color, I told her, hey, could you just, she was already modeling them in color just because Tinkercad allows you to do that so easily. And I said, well, give me the OBJs and I'll print them out on my DaVinci color. So I'll throw up a time lapse of those printing and she did those and it was really really hey 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 da, 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 stop, stop 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 not like that back up try it again do it right this time Yeesh. anyways like i said she modeled these in tinkercad and i printed them out in color and i got to present these to her at the Bay Area Maker Fair, so unfortunately I don't have them here, but she was super excited to have these prints. Now I printed them a small scale size, I in fact printed them the size of X-Wing miniatures because I thought, hmm, wouldn't it be fun to take the X-Wing board game and 3D print your own miniatures in full color, maybe even modeled in Tinkercad? They didn't quite hold up as far as the quality of the minis that you'd see in the X-Wing game, but it was still a fun exercise. And what I really like about the style of these is that it's not quite the way that they look in the movies. You know how we've got Hindi Superman and we've got Japanese Spider-Man. Well, this is like South Korea Star Wars, and I love it. It's just a little bit stylized and different from the original, and they turned out great. Now, I've been a fan of Uni since... Well, since her Eiffel Tower video, really, she did this video where she modeled the Eiffel Tower, and I don't know, maybe it was just the simplicity of the model, and yet it was still undeniably the Eiffel Tower, but it was also her modeling technique. I worry a lot when I model in Tinkercad about the hierarchy of the objects that I'm creating, and she didn't. She just worked layer by layer and melded them together as she was going, and I thought, why don't I do that more often? Also, when she used cylinders to curve the sides of the Eiffel Tower, like something about that. I would not have thought of that before her videos, and I got to be better at Tinkercad just by watching her, and you will too. Now, like I said, I got to meet her at the Bay Area Maker Fair, and she is one of the few people, besides her and Barb, those were the only people who I sat down with in front of a camera to talk about, and with Uni, it was kind of, it was kind of uh, impromptu. I hadn't planned on it, but I had my camera there, so I thought, all right, let's do this thing. And she was so nice to, to do this for me. So I hope that you'll enjoy checking out her project from Bay Area Maker Fair. Go check out the other things that she's created and subscribe to her channel, watch her videos. I love them. I hope that you will too. So here's our talk from the Bay Area Maker Fair. Hey everybody, it's Joe at the Maker Fair and once again talking to Uni from South Korea. Yeah, hi, I'm Uni from South Korea. See you again. Yes, now this year, this whole, guys, if you are not watching Uni on YouTube, you should be. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, so mostly I'm uh, upload the video about how to make the 3D model, especially by Tinkercad. Yeah, you are, I've said it before, you're a master of Tinkercad. Yeah, and I swear, right. Every time I watch your videos, I learn something about Tinkercad that I didn't know. Did you? Yes, it's amazing. Now, you got something cool at Maker Faire this year. Yeah, this year I upgrade my wall. It's my Pokemon board. And then, you know, I really love to make animals, so there are so many animals here. Gotta catch them all! And the animals 
which came from the Chinese zodiac, the Oriental cycle. So check your birth first and find your annual animal somewhere. This, this is this is amazing. You know, I need to do this with my little cute animals. Uh huh. Yeah. A world of chibi malls in a little ball yeah, like that. You're, you, you've you inspired made it. me. Yeah, right. You've inspired <laughs> me. No, that's so. Is very next cool. time you can get your Pokemon ball, and there are so many yours animal, right? That would be it. Yes. No, you've done an amazing job, and you're now you recently did a series of Star Wars Tinker Cat. Yeah, right. And I printed some of your models. Yeah, I got it yesterday. Yes, and so I'll put up a picture into the edit for that mm -hmm. one so people can see. Yep. But how difficult was it to go from modeling like you normally do to modeling in color mm -hmm. with Tinkercad? Mm -hmm. Was mm -hmm. it hard at all to do that? Uh, yeah, it's sometimes it's a little confused. Yeah, yeah. But then once you learn, you just hit multicolor, boom. Yeah. And that was all. And then upload an OBJ. Yeah. Are you gonna upload more OBJs in the future? <laughs> For you, my big fan. Thank of you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because it, but it really, I'm surprised at how much Tinkercad does and how easy it makes it to do. Yeah. So uh, last, my project is make a Star Wars series by Tinkercad. Is a uh, that is the big uh, issue to me. So. I want to figure out the shape first and then thinking, okay, let's try add the basic shape, basic shape, and then, okay, just do it. And then when I made the Star Wars series by Tinkercad, and I'm so, I'm also surprised. It's so simple, but everybody recognizes like, the item and then it's easy to make and then it's cute and lovely yeah, yeah. perfect well, what i loved about them is the, the style mm -hmm. that you put in there mm -hmm. it's not it's not perfect it's not the way it's done in the movies it's like south korea style <laughs> star wars yeah right and i love it i love it it's fantastic so whenever people come to me and they're like oh, i need to learn a modeling program mm -hmm. well what do you know absolutely nothing here's tinkercad and here's uni's uh, uh, Eiffel Tower video to get you started. Yeah, thank you so much. And so, it's kickstart so many people in the makerspace. Right. So actually, some people think the Tinkercad just for a beginner program, but I don't agree. Well, it is for beginners. Yeah, yeah. It's but easier. it's not yeah. just for beginners. Right. That's right. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you saw the first thing that I ever modeled in Tinkercad mm -hmm. was a chess set that Voltron together into a robot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we had complex fittings and parts going together, and that was all done in Tinkercad. Tinkercad is capable. Yeah. And so, yeah, I love the, I love it. So keep doing what you're doing, Uni, and you guys need to watch Uni. Yes. Ah, she needs 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> yes. Always a pleasure, Uni. We'll, we'll Thank see you, you around. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. Yeah.